good morning from a as usual hot Thailand cats everywhere love me long time number 11 we left it the Gary I just did a nice date with a another shop girl in a couple of days time he was gonna have a rendezvous with her a date on Sunday and the next few days he uh, spent chatting to B and sorting normal things out and on the Saturday he was just wandering around the site where the, outside the condo and the sales office was open and he'd popped his head through the door and there's Angela she's got chatting and he was curious at which condos he actually had bought because he didn't realize he'd never asked and Angela said two actually below you are yours and four in the building behind um, and I thought the ones where he were were the top end most expensive but it was only the penthouses were the huge money and he said uh, you the client you've got in who is it is it a good person are they going to stay for a year or more and she said well normally I can't say who it is and who they are etc but because you're the owner I can it's the condo directly below you a woman's moved into uh, we're going to call her C and she is a former Thai superstar soap opera woman one of these women in all these daft dramas um, and she's mid 30s quite famous plenty of money and uh, has a few condos she rents around the country wherever she's filming she's got a place in Bangkok and somewhere else so she's quite well off and uh, okay, so that's good then it's about seven ten past seven in the morning thought this is the quietest day, time of day to film the animals are all going to prove me wrong aren't they hey so that's all right then she's uh, got a bit of money that's good and how long she signed up for and Angela was like a year good off Gary goes chills out for the day Sunday morning gets hold of P and uh, he's been talking to B about where he should take this girl on a date A and B mentioned have you ever been over to the island PP island and he said no and when he said to be where a lives oh this is getting confusing all these letters maybe jump on the ferry from down there in Phuket town go over to PP island for the day or half a day uh, that'd be rather nice there's not a lot over there but you can swim and snorkel and there's food and a bit of a walk around up onto the one hill and he said that's a great idea so taxi's over A's ready she's got a nice pair of uh, trendy shorts on and nice blouse and a hat looking very upmarket of course Gary is as well he's all dressed up so he, A gets in the car and he starts chatting away and he said do you fancy going over to there's an island uh, PP I've never been apparently there's boats uh, ferries all the time going over have you been and A said yep I've been a few times and yeah that'd be fine there's nice food over there and she says but maybe you're going to want to swim and he said well I've just brought a bag he said I've got some shorts and things with me just in case she said well okay hang on a second let me run in I'll get some swimming clothes costume in she dives comes back about 10-15 minutes later with a little bag and said okay let's do that then she's on her phone uh, there's a boat in 15 minutes that's convenient taxi p ferry port literally just around the corner jump out they go and find a guy that's selling the tickets and they get a return ticket and then go over um about 11 o'clock going over and coming back about five so that's what happens A seems uh, 
a little bit more friendly, a bit more relaxed because they spent one day together. She's a great looking girl. Also sort of, how old is she? 30, 31. Very attractive, seems very intelligent. And they get on the boat, off they go to PP. They spend the day, they walk up the one hill to the um, bit of a temple there or offering place and they eat a couple of bits restaurant and the ferry on the way back um, they have the choice of getting one where they can snorkel just at the edge of the island where it just comes out a bit and then they head on back to uh, Phuket so they chat about that the swimming and snorkeling and they agree that they'll do that so nice day food everything all goes well ferry arrives there's changing room toilets on the ferry so it's like okay we can change in there and they quickly change put the stuff in bags ferry 15 minutes goes around the other side of the island and A is in a two piece bikini Gary can't take her eye, his eyes off her out of the water anyway jump in she can swim he can swim they snorkel around for half an hour back on the boat it's not worth changing they might as well get back to Phuket and uh, maybe they could change it at her place so she puts a blouse on and uh, some loose shorts over the top and he throws some shorts and a t-shirt on He finds himself um, in a position where she's attractive, she's intelligent, she's the right age. He's, for the first time, out of B and Angela, this girl, A, he's got a physical attraction. And everything so far fits. And he's asking her more and more and more questions. And it turns out that she was born up the road in Krabi, medium education, did go to a, a form of college, then went into retail. And that's what she's done all her life. So she's not been in the entertainment area. Everything fits. She has no kids. She had a long-term Thai boyfriend, never got married. He actually went off with another woman. So she just like stayed single. So there are some girls there that don't actually get married and do stay single. She said she's had a few casual boyfriends, but nothing special. They get back to her place and she says, um, and it's sort of late afternoon, it's about six o'clock, five, six o'clock. She says, thanks for a great day. Uh, maybe I can see you again one evening in the week. And they, got phone numbers exchanged and he was hoping to go in and get changed and maybe take it further but she sort of pushed him back and he's like okay fantastic ta-da bye-bye um, <laughs> and sadly taxi back to his condo he's dressed scruffy remember he's got he's just got a t-shirt on some, some some sort of shorts and a bag and he, he's scruffy Pulls at the front of the condo, gets out of the car, says goodbye to Pete, turns around and there's a, a white Mercedes Sports just going down into the garage, into the electric door. Down, just going in. And he's like, oh, that's a nice car. For some reason, he sort of hovers for a minute and then he goes through the front doors and there's a, the entrance lobby in through the car park door comes his new tenant. This woman, absolutely one of those lovely ladies. You walk down the road, that's slightly different, shorter hair, bit of a bob, beautiful clothes, just stunning. And he, this woman comes through the car park door into the lobby and he just, his mouth falls open. He's just like, wow. It's that, it's that woman off the TV. And she just looks him up and down. 
and says, says hello. Uh, first in Thai, and then he says hello back in Texan. <laughs> Howdy, or whatever they say. And then she speaks a little bit of English. How are you? Do you Are you visiting someone here? Looking at his attire, and he's... Uh, he's sort of a bit took back by that. He's like, oh, no, no. He says, oh, I, I live here. And she says, really? <laughs> Great English. Really, really good. I mean, impeccable. Really? Looking at him and thinking, you look like a bit of a beach bum. <laughs> and then he realizes when she said that, he looked at himself and went, ah. <laughs> See, yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been out for the day, a bit of swimming. <laughs> and she said, oh, okay. Presses the button for the elevator, and she's uh, walking. Yeah, the door open. He's in he goes. Oh, yeah, in his way, you know. In she goes. In he goes, and uh, she says to him first, "Which floor?" And he said, uh, "And it says on there, penthouse, uh, penthouse." And she then turned to him and looked at him, and she lifted her glasses, Ray Bans or something. Penthouse? She said, "Yeah, yeah, top, top one." And she presses that and hers is number four or whatever it is. And he said, uh, my name's Gary. I, I see you're number five, you're my neighbor. Now, I could have a laugh with you guys and call her C. <laughs> Probably won't. <laughs> we'll call her D. <laughs> what can we call her? I'm gonna call her posh woman posh woman <laughs> and he's like uh, I'm Gary and she said I'm posh woman <laughs> and he said well neighbor lovely to meet you if you ever uh, get five minutes maybe this evening you want to pop up for a drink and say hi and and uh, just get to know each other as neighbors and she again looking him up and down thinking penthouse you're scruffy and she's like mm. she said okay I'll I'll come up for a cocktail later at 8 30 they said fabulous her floor out she gets I'll see you later hey bye doors closed he's already forgotten about a he's just falling in love no no falling in love is the wrong word He's just, <laughs> um, it's, he's just struck by her awe and beauty. Yes. Up he goes. And it's about six, six thirty, I'll say. In he goes off, shower, change, starts running around making sure the place is clean. And he's thinking, oh, cocktails, I've got no cocktails. Ah, oh, I need, I need cocktails. And by this time it's about half seven. He hasn't got a clue for cocktails. He's on the phone. B, B, B. B's like, whoa, what are you ringing me this time for? He said, I've got another sort of date. And I need cocktails. And she's like, another date? What do you like? Cocktails, you need cocktails. He said, yeah, I need them. Whoa. She says, whoa. Bring a local bar and just order cocktails for them to bring to you. I'm sure they'll bring it if you pay enough money. Otherwise, you've got to go out and get all the different liqueurs and all that and make it yourself. And you haven't got a clue, have you? And he said, no. Do you want me to get a barman and get him to bring you know, a mobile cocktail van or something and get him to do it? He said, I need cocktails. She said, I'll get your phone number. I'll ring you back. I'll get your phone number of a local bar. I'll find a bar and that will deliver. He said, great, great. Coming up for eight o'clock, B rings back. Right, there's a bar down the road. They do cocktails, they will deliver. But for them to deliver two cocktails, they're gonna charge you a thousand baht for two cocktails. He's like, oh, whatever. He said, give me the phone number, what's the guy's name? She said, here, texting you. Brilliant, thank you B, thank you B. She said, who is it, who is it? He said, ah, ah, I'll tell you when I see you. And he's getting all sort of excited. <laughs> he's got, he bought uh, other beers, whiskies, beers, 
pod because all the rest of it in the house just haven't got all the liqueurs and stuff. Come 8.30, bell rings. She's in the lift, she's pressing P Pentos and it won't let her come up, but it rings his bell. So up onto the little screen by the door. Hello. She says, I'm in the lift, but I can't, um, won't let me come up to you. She says, hang on. She presses the button. Up the lift comes. Door opens. She steps out of the lift in a white mini dress. Very short. Beautiful. Oh, stunning. Imagine TV model. Absolutely stunning. In one hand and the other, she's got the cures. She goes, I wasn't sure if you had ingredients to make the cocktails that I like, but I've got some here and I've got some more in the bag here. Can you help me with the bag? He's like, oh, he said, then he said to her, I didn't have any. He said, I've got a phone number of a guy down the road at the bar that was going to bring them up. She said, oh, that's clever. He said, I can make them. Posh woman is in his condo. I'm having fun. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Stunning posh woman in white. You just picture it. Just come off the TV, bro. <sighs> right.